Okay, guys, I don't know what to say. I have to upload my stuff because I'm somewhere else. And I wanted to take it a walk before I went home. And I didn't want to walk around the neighborhood because people are acting kind of freaking weird. And uh, they don't even care about anything. They're just breaking glass in the street. They don't even care about running stuff over. They don't even care about... And I got back. <laughs> I broke broke head in my I wa as much as I wash my back, it doesn't make any sense. Um, it's full crap. It could be from anything, from soap or whatever. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. No, okay. It's okay, I got my agenda. <laughs> Guys, look. I had too much news. I had to write it on a paper. I had to write on a, I had to write it on a paper. This is just enough to boggle my freaking mind. Okay, because uh Okay, this is the neighborhood news uh alert. Speculation warning. This is this was heard at two schools. I went to two schools today, believe it or not. I went did Two half days, and I shouldn't have, but I did it. I could have stayed at one school and went and just, uh, you know, and canceled it, and, and they would have had to split the uh, class in another school. But they went and they got, they got uh, uh, a TA or something. They got someone to come in and take care of whatever. And I didn't care about it. I just went like this. I didn't have to go, but I, you know, I don't think they would care about me. Uh, it was like 30 minutes away, and uh, I came when I came. I had I had time to have lunch and whatever else. But okay, uh, on to the to the news. Again, speculation warning. This could this is hard to say this gossip to. It got around. It really, it's too much to cover. I need a, I need a chart because I'm gonna tell you. Um, some of the stuff is really crazy. It went crazy. Okay, so I told everyone about how. Okay, Chad Smalley is a guy that's a bass player. I think he's a bass player or something. Well, he's a man member of the Blackers, and uh. I had a thing for him at one time, but I thought he was gay. And, and you know, after the fact, I didn't know. I thought he was playing. He was trying to play for my niece. I guess. Yeah, that's what I ended up finding out. That was a, that was a, that was a crazy scenario. Remember that? Okay, so what? Keep that in mind. That didn't happen. So then, what he called Patrick thought. Uh, you know, I thought he he was interested in me. Whatever. So that was what what was that? Because you know, I was queen. You know, I'm so, I'm queen. I'm queen. Okay, I'm a queen. <laughs> I'm a queen. I'm multi designated queen. Keep that in mind. So the, uh, he has to be gay. So okay, so he's got, in my mind, he's gay. <laughs> uh, I'm benevolent. I'm perfect. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so okay, he went. Okay. Because I thought he was trying to scan. He, it was this mirror. He had a mirror. He had a mirror. And he had a go. Oh, what do you call it? A, a soul patch. It was a red soul patch. And he was a sadist. That was his mirror. Okay, that would have been a big clue that he is. He, he He's either in it. Or he's. He, he knows him and he just dabbles. Or something. And, uh, what is so bizarre is that, that this, uh, he was trying to steal my shit. He, really, he was trying to steal my shit. He was trying to steal some other shit. He was lying and doing all this stuff with the other people. This is the early preliminary. Preliminary stuff before the shooting started, be, you know, going down. And, and whatever. Because uh, these, these, all these dobbers started going up. Yeah, he's got he's got his dauber on his ass now. He's he's had one. If he hasn't had one, he needs one. 
Because he's a motherfucker to me. He was trying to thieve my shit. He was trying to get me to... Uh, they had a devil worshiper as a consulate overseeing my shit. Which they should now because I'm not a sadist. And then one he cut and the other one, he, he needs to help me get my shit. He needs to go there here, you know, have somebody pick me up and that's it and take me over there. Or some something. I don't know what's going on. What happened to his sister? <laughs> or maybe that was a, I don't know, he had an assistant or something. Happened. I don't know what the hell happened. All I know is shit, shit happened. And I'm going like, you know what? I don't know. Also, be an imaginary bill because I don't, I don't, I feel like, how am I going to give a shit if I don't have nothing tangible in my hands? What, you know, what I'm saying? And, uh, what is so bizarre is that I, I, I thought this guy was in, uh, in, in, in the UK. I thought he was. I thought he was in the UK. And, uh, I thought he was. I thought he ran away to the UK. No, he went to New York. Isn't that nice? I recently found out that uh, this asshole went to New York. And this is what's so outlandish is that, you know, that Shane McAllen, he is, he, they thought he was dying. They said that someone was dying and that, that he was trying to take someone else's shit. That was what, but, That's why I ended up finding out. Because some, some people were talking. And I was like, are you kidding me? Oh, I got a bite. I got two hurts. <laughs> I got a lot of hurts. And I got, yes, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't get this. Okay, so. Yeah. So, anyway, what do you call it? Uh, so, what happened was, was that. Uh, yeah, he was run, trying to—he was trying to steal someone else's shit. The guy was like havoc, you know, like the insurance company. He was gonna do something anyway. The motherfucker was bad. He, he wanted to do something anyway. He didn't care about the only way to get rid of his ass was to go, go take him out. I just saw a uh, dumb jail, but I don't think Joe's gonna solve it because this asshole was gonna continue doing it. He was just gonna continue doing it. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, he wanted to go steal from a Pogue, the lead Pogue that had recently went and got sick recently. And I didn't even know until last night, how, you know, because, uh, because coincidentally they had done the song of fairy tale in New York. But let me get to you, get to this. That's another part of the news. It's going to be so unfucking believable You're going to be saying bullshit in the end. Because what what really happened was that I'm I'm just kind of... <laughs> kind of a good people. And uh, what I ended up finding out was that... Uh, yeah, he was trying to... He was trying to steal them whatever money they had. And apparently, what I ended up finding out was that his wife was kind of struggling... Why didn't anyone help? How gay are y'all motherfuckers up there? Y'all, you know what? That's what get, that gets me the shits. When I want to go like, they, the way they were treating, they're treating my ass like shit because, you know what? They want to kill me out so they can take my money. That's what it was. It, it, and what is so bad is that the Muslims are acting stupid. So these um, bitches are trying to scam and trying to act like, I had one, uh, she was, I don't know what the hell she was thinking. She was lying because some kid went and slipped. He was walking. I think he was running up into the, into the building. And there was a teacher there. He went and tripped on a stone or something or whatever the, it's like a cobble. I don't know. It's like rocky. Yeah, you know, it's like a rock indented sidewalk or something. It's like, the, the, you know, a little. You know, it's like a little walk. Well, he could he stubbed on one or something because he was going too fast and he should have been running in the first place. He should have been walking. And then what he caught, he went and he, he tripped and he fell. 
And, and then she goes, well, did you see that he fell? So what are you trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> he fell. He was running too fast. It was, it was an accident. What the fuck? And, and that's what that's what I looked. I was like, yeah, he fell. So what? <laughs> so, he's a kid. He was running. <laughs> this is in a grocery store, bitch. I don't know. Who are you working for? That's what I was like. That's like that's a liability. He didn't, you know, the kid was running and the the uh the you know, like a, no, you don't run you don't you don't run. Unless you're in danger. And if you're not in danger, don't fall her. But Kip was in obviously in danger, so what was the deal? So she was acting like I was going to pay her some money because of they saw that big boy. Oh, you know the skull! <laughs> this is what's so fucked up. I was laughing. You're such a fucking bitch. <laughs> and I was like, look at, y'all are so scamming. The hell out of my face. Let me have this damn dime bar called Houston. <laughs> uh, shit. No, but this, this is what's so fucked up is, is that, uh, that this, go back to the guy. The guy was going to try to steal this guy's shit. And he's like a real popular dude. And they keep asking him, they keep asking him, if he's going to die, this is the folklore. Folklore allegation on Shane McCowan. This guy's a badass. He's a badass. He he had, he had the teeth to say that he was like, what? Because he, he was doing the drugs. He was doing the fucking ass alcohol. The, thought the, the motherfucker thought he was... They, and people thought he was going to die, nigga. They thought he had like six months to live. And, and he's... Still here. He's like a he's like a diehard battery. The motherfucker will die. <laughs> then what he call it up? And I didn't know this. This is what the fuck fo the folklore is is so big that this is horrendous. That this get this get this. You're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe because I could on a shitty car that my aunt knew. My aunt knew, knew, knew him. Knew, knew the, uh, he, she went to New York. Sometimes she faked going to New York to get money. This is why it was so fucked up is that she, she was doing some crazy ass shit. I didn't even know about it. She, she, she's like me. She lived a life. She lived her life and didn't give a shit. And people were dumb to her, and, and she wanted to get married. It's the same sh damn shit. I ain't living. I ain't want to. And and people are saying that I may have to get another. Uh, I may have to go up north to get a husband. They want me to go to New York to go get a husband, because Doctor Kelly went gay. <laughs> Because his friend was the one fucking with everybody's mind. So his friend is going to get his ass kicked every damn day. Until he wakes up and realizes, I'm not going to fuck with a woman's life because I'm a fucking dick. He needs to say, I'm a fucking dick and I, I will not fuck with another woman's life because I'm a dick. And, and that, uh, not really is going to happen is that. No, they didn't want me to leave because they didn't. They didn't. They want the money, and they they didn't want bitches to die. It didn't matter. Bitches are gonna die anyway. <laughs> and uh, what was so bad was that uh, that Sam Herrera knew him. Sam Herrera knew him. He was a punk kid. I was a punk kid in here in Houston. I was a club uh, punk kid. Basically, I went to the uh, I went to the after hour bars, you know, in clubs. That's how you go to the, you go to the, you go to the asshole bar, and then you go to the the, the underground. You go to the underground, the pe the ones where people don't know. The ones that they are non-existent that they that the locals knew, the people knew, the the real people knew. And, and, uh, you didn't give a shit. 
You didn't give us your people new people and people, people uh, where the boys got liquor for the girls and then the girl, you know, because what do you call? We knew where the where, where we could get liquor at. You know, that's what it was. In audience, we knew where to go. And and the guy, we get the money to the guys, and the guys would go over there and get get us shit. I would, I would get champagne and whatever and, and booms and all this other stuff. So besides that being said, whatever, you know. <coughs> and um, so was, that was that was about eighty eight, eighty nine, eighty eight, eighty yeah, eighty eighty eight was when the song came out. And this bastard went. He wrote a song that was based on what this motherfucker Sam Herrera Jr. had done. He had went and was like the ultimate LaBouche. <laughs> went and and he remember he tried to steal my life. He took whatever I wanted to do and he took it away from me, unbeknownst to me. And he went and he he made it his own. He then he went to New York and he went and he uh, popped out a couple puppies. And then what do you call it with the, some some white trash bitch that he went and he he got with. And she wasn't the one. I was the one. And Cedro, I don't know what the hell you're thinking, Cedro. It was the dad that was uh so, uh, so pushy pushy. And and I guess he. he they thought I was nothing, so they didn't really uh, follow through and see what was, you know, made the promises on the um, on the betrothal or whatever. I guess is what it was, and that it was just such a fu fucked up mess, and that yeah, cause I was I'm the queen of New York. <laughs> well, here I am. Uh, but that so I'm the punk queen of New York. Because they went and they looked around. And they went and looked in the Irish community. They didn't want to look at my ass. Because why? Because they didn't want to say, you know, because they didn't want to, they didn't want to say that who I was. What was my ancestry? And who was the, who had the deepest pocket? I had the deepest pocket. My aunt went and gave him. That was the big shit rumor was that he, he was given part of the folklore I may add was that he was given 18 million because they thought he was going to die they thought he this motherfucker was going to die and that uh this is what's so crazy was that that his, I guess because he came back swinging and uh he had a seat fixed and everything, and now he just had a, he had a, what, a, a brain infection, and he, he's, I guess he's back home, thankfully, but, you know, I heard some crazy ass shit, so he was, they went, and they paid his ass out, because he may die, that's what they were saying, he, regardless, because his wife was struggling, and that they were making ends meet, and, and what do you call it, and he didn't know about it. That she uh she didn't have home health hardly and that that's what happened and they had a literally they were throwing money at him and he didn't want to take it because he ended up telling them no for some reason I got eighty million and I didn't know who or where and then I found out that it was a sovereign queen went and gave it. And that's what happened was that they, that they went and that he's gonna have a state funeral. But what he's wanting to have is that he's wanting to have because he knew about my plaid. He knew about the plaid. The the uh the royal was the royal steward. And I got a steward royal, which is the blue and the green and what I got some other ones. And he wanted the red plaid. He wanted the red plaid. And then what was that? Was that what they want to do? Is that they want to pit an extra, this is what I was hearing, I don't know, let's see if they break that, that they wanted to pin another stripe of yellow, or something to make it different, to make it a, a, a custom plaid, and that, because in his mind, he's a, he's a prince, or a king, and, uh, I guess a punk, 
because I don't know Sid Vicious, what Sid Vicious was. I think he was, I don't know who Sid Vicious is in, in, the, in that kind of sense. I, um, because one of who I'm, I knew are the Pogues, but I, you know, at the time, you know, it was just like, okay. <laughs> Because a lot of this stuff was kind of like here and there, but it was there. Uh, but yeah, because a, a lot of people are not familiar with the fairy tale of New York, believe it or not. And that a lot of people go, like, who is this, this guy? Yeah, how could you not know? I guess because you're not Irish enough. <laughs> Is what it is. It is. That's what I kind of said to my. I said it out loud. You're not Irish enough, and that. But it's an all-time favorite to to a lot. If you're an '80s kid, you knew it. You're in a punk uh, club. You you knew it, and, and uh, it's like being an asshole. But they're you know, they're they're abusive to each other. But, yeah, so, I think I covered that, check, yes, this is a check, yeah, so, that was that, that he may get a state funeral, that's what I heard, that he was going to get a state funeral, and that, and that, I, I said, look, this shit. Give the motherfucker a asshole parade <laughs> to the, the streets of New York, and and I heard offers of uh of flying him to Ireland, to, but you know, but I think it was like I don't know where Ireland. They'll probably do a statue of him in, in Ireland. Uh, I, I would presume so, and I think they would do a. A statue of him in New York. Um, I think with the uh, with the with the with the lady that was his punk wife, the time that was singing with him the song. Uh, sorry if I'm an idiot right now. I can go for it, but you know what? Two I'm talking about, and. Um, they would have those two together, you know, but I'm just what I'm thinking in my mind, but that's just, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, besides the point, you know, I would end up having a pit of one of those shit in. Yeah, the, car the carriage, the car the, the, the uh, horse-driven carriage hearse. Parading him through the streets of New York. Uh, get the uh, pipe band. Get him the pipe band. And, uh, yeah, just give him the extra star for yellow. And that's it. Or right, the blue. But the yellow kind of symbolizes how many kills that he's, that you that he's possibly had done. <laughs> so that'll be a hit. <laughs> and I guess what it was that the other rumor was that that Sam Herrera may lose his shirt because he was a part of the deal. With Sylvia Garcia and all this other stuff trying to steal my shit. And right now I haven't seen nothing. And I think the con uh the concert was complaining I'm i I'm, I'm sick of having to uh to do stuff and to worry about you know, you know, basically making a commission. He's sick of it and he thought he could get somebody else to go bring me or uh, whatever and, and help me ensure yeah, I'm fine to go over there to pick my stuff up and whatever else. And, and because what the, it's mainly the Muslims 
and it's mainly some assholes. You know, it's mainly the Muslims, believe it or not. And the assholes is the, the sadists who are so concerned of what color card I have. So that's what that was. And uh, and I ended up finding out that, that I had to go make sure that someone had done something and they didn't do it. Because that was bull cramp. Because I, I had to go get another card. That's what happened. I had to get another card. And these people are still trying to catfish and try to see what's going on. And uh, it all happened last week. And I had to get the record painting done. So, it's really ridiculous. This is a pain in the ass situation. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed and done. And I know this is going to be a freeze next week. Honeys, I'd rather be in California saying, forget this bullshit. Uh... And, and not worry about the grid. That's what I'm worried about. I don't want to have to worry about it. It's ridiculous. If I, and I heard that my... I have houses in California. I need to know where those bitches are at. I'll go. <laughs> I need to go. Ugh. Yeah, because it doesn't make any sense. That I have places and I can't even go. And then this one guy, I don't know. He's not my dude then. He's not, he's not. No. I would have thought he would have had some damn smarts to say, you know what? I'll, I'll have someone running my shit while I go ahead and get the shit on the road. And have her set up. And have her, you know, set, put the bun in the oven and all this other stuff. And, and not worry about it. But it seems like, you know, no. He's too busy about his, his damn fucking practice. He don't give a shit about nothing. And I don't get no shit. Uh, so that makes me say, you know what? I, I'm not talking about him any, really that much now. And I'm not going to worry about it. Because it's not my deal. Because he's got... It, 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 I don't know. Because he seems to be attracted to me, promise. His friend is the reason why the the things aren't happening. Really? Is he hematized? Has he got no mind? I don't know. I don't want someone like that. If you don't, look, I don't even give a shit. Keep your shit out of my house. Keep your shit. I don't want somebody over there trying to take my kid and go to a devil's car. No. Uh, Uncle said, uh, uh, Uncle Asshole took me to the death. No. <laughs> no, hell no. I ain't doing that. That's ridiculous. No. That's not how. No. That's just so bullshit. I am never thought that this shit is like, the, you know what? I'm going to get to this point where I'm going to be telling this woman to stop her shit. Look, lady, I don't know what you're up to, but you ain't going to scam my ass. And I'm going to go file a complaint about you. You know, you're really ridiculous now. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but you ain't, you're not a friend to me. I don't know who the hell you are. And I don't know. I don't give a shit. Stay in my house. That's why I don't want to have nothing to do with people. Because people act dumb. They do. I don't even give a shit. It makes no sense. No. Why well, I need to be in a warm environment. Getting out of this shit. And being, you know, in a nice new house where I don't have to worry about nasty shit. And worry, worry about nasty attitude. And then not worry about stupid stuff that I don't need to be, you know, and not be in this car anymore. That's reality. It's ridiculous. If that guy from Saxon Moon said, let's go get, uh, fine, let's go ahead, let's get this shit going. Because it seems like it's a fucking asshole fight for nothing. And I don't, I don't have, I, I don't care about 
Del Conde. I don't care about asshole. Because I don't need that shit in my house. That's ridiculous. No one wants it. It's a lie. Everything's a lie. Everything is. It's just a big freaking lie. And I need to go stop this because it's running about 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, God. And this is ridiculous. Really? Maybe a two-parter. I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, but that's basically what happened. Basically. And I'm being ripped off by the payroll clerks from what I understand. Because they just, you know... They keep, uh, people keep shooting me, uh, checks, but they, but they don't pay out because this woman is trying to steal them. That's what's going on. I shouldn't be having to worry about anything. I should be able to go anywhere and, and get whatever I want and not have to worry about it. And yeah, I have people who don't see. Oh, well, once you just caught. No, but he's, you know, they, they don't. The, the, the bitches are too lazy. They are. And they want to be ignorant, and it's a no. 